part two with Tim Grew here. I hope you caught uh, part one. We talked about his start in racing. Uh, they, of course, were crew uh, members on the Holland crew for a long time with Bob Holland. Started his racing career in the 80s, but eventually he made a change. Somewhere around 95, 96, we're not really sure. If any of you guys know for sure, it was the first year that they brought in the Limited Supers to us. We go Tim Grew <laughs> was part of that original crew. Not only did he win Mr. Limited Super Modified, he also won a track championship in the Super Division back in 04. Uh, I mean, you name it, he has done He's won a lot of races, not just in uh, the Supers where he had 15, but he also won a lot in the Limiteds. He's now back in dirt, and we'll cover that in the other one that you listened to earlier, I hope. Tim, how are we doing today, man? Good. How are you? Good, good. So we're going to have some fun here as he made a switch, and you can phrase this any way you want. Keep in mind it's a G-rated channel, but uh, <laughs> uh, you kind of had to leave Fulton, you told me, right? <laughs> yeah, it was a big decision. Uh, we uh, kind of... It was a big decision to make, and they hit. They come out with a limited class of Swiggle. I can't remember. It was 95, like you said. I can't really remember what year it was. But uh, we made the change, and uh, we bought one of the very first limiteds that you know came out. I think it was a Dayton chassis off from Harry Paul. It was brand new and uh, had a lot of help from uh, Dennis Perry, helped us put it together because he knew a little about well, asphalt. That's Kyle's dad, right? Yep, that's Kyle's dad. Dennis helped us out a lot with that deal, and... Um, we went to Swiggle and went asphalt racing. How was it like? What was it like going from dirt to asphalt that first night? It was kind of cool. I liked it. It was, it was different. Not right. different. Were you dirt tracking it a few times maybe out of the corners? Yeah, no. you don't Thinking really want to get too much dirt tracking on asphalt. She'll come back around on you. But uh, uh-huh. the, the dirt racing did help me mm-hmm. a lot on asphalt. How so exactly? If think? the car got out of a little shape here and there and stuff, you knew what, a, you knew what to do with it, you mm-hmm. know? You could you could control the car better. Okay. You knew right what to do. You know. How did those cars drive? Were they pretty stuck to the track, or were they pretty free? The limited. They were pretty. They were pretty free. It was all the way you set it up. If you like loose car, tight car, you know. What did you like? I liked the tight tight car. I guess I thought with your dirt experience, you wanted to go the other way, or did the tight maybe force you to to keep it straight and to keep it to keep those tires from sliding? Oh. Uh, I, I've always liked the tight car. I just didn't know, never really liked the loose car. Some guys do. Okay. It's yeah, all so, you prefer, you know? Yeah, and there's no right or wrong there. It's just right. kind of like the shoes you wear. When right. it was comfortable, <laughs> yeah. that's what you go with. Yeah. How long did it take you to get the feel of it, or did you catch on right away? Uh, it took a little bit. I remember the first day there, we went there. They had a group of us, you know, and we went out, and uh, they did a pretty good job, you know, yeah. letting us, you know, practice and stuff, and... Uh, Everybody got better, and um, it become a real good, like, good class, actually a good starter class for the Supers. Did you know anybody that you were racing against now at Oswego? Oh, yeah, good, uh, Bob Gutermont. He you guys moved up at the same time, right? Yep, Bob came up, and uh, Johnny Phelps. Remember John Phelps, and um, he raced dirt. There's a few guys. I can't really think of them all okay. right now. But. Some people say that a dirt guy switching to asphalt is going to do better than an asphalt guy who switches to dirt. Are they right? Yeah, they're right. I mean, yeah, it's it's tough. If you if you race on asphalt your whole life and stuff, then you go race on dirt. It's uh, quite a difference. There's mm-hmm. quite a difference in driving. You gotta you gotta be up on the wheel on dirt racing and. Then, uh, you got to be on the throttle and you got to be up on the wheel. Asphalt's not like that. You got to be a lot smoother on the asphalt. And not as much movement of the arms and the that's, shoulders and that's everything. That's right. Too, right. You just got to, you know, use your head and uh, be smooth on the asphalt. That's how I feel about it. How long did it take to get your first win at Oswego? And do you remember that? Oh, I think, I believe the first year we did get a, a, a win with the Limiteds. Okay. And we ended up winning. Five or six in the three years that we were in the Limiteds. Okay. And you also won the Mr. Limited and race, We won too, the right? Mr. Limited, yeah. Okay. Yep. So how do you know, because this was still a new thing when you were doing it, and I'm sure a lot of you guys were like, well, I'm sure you came into it wanting to run a Super, or did you? Uh, actually, that was a good question. Uh, I never really planned on racing a Super, really? to tell you the truth. I guess I but just figured you would. The more I ran a Swago, I, I loved the Swago. I loved the track. It was real cool, and... Uh, I got this big idea. The old man didn't like it, but uh, <laughs> Why I said, was I want to go super racing. And uh, he says, all right. I Why don't know how I, I don't know how I calmed him into it, but we, we did it. <laughs> Why didn't he like it? The money? Well, the money. Or, okay. So it wasn't he was afraid. We, we never really had a whole lot of money. It was all, you know, family thing. My dad did the best for me he could, you know. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so what was that like? Because I've talked, because now we're talking about an offset engine. We're a lot lower. We're on wider tires. It couldn't be more different, right? Oh, the Supers were, they're awesome. They're, there's nothing like driving a Super modified. They're, they're quick. Mm -hmm. Fast. It's just unbelievable how you get from one corner to the other. Okay, how so quick. That, that's what a lot of guys have told me. The first time you, you come uh, out of the corner with one, you're like, whoa. <laughs> but there's nothing like it. I, that's all I can say. They're awesome. So that <laughs> feeling that you had in the Super is the biggest yeah. rush yeah. you've ever had in a race car. Yes, huh? yes it is. It's okay. that big block on the side. She's got a lot of power. <laughs> yeah, she does. About 800 horse speed yeah, back then, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Um, obviously... It had to be just a huge jump, and you're racing against some of the biggest names in the sport. Was it intimidating at first? Oh, yeah. There was a lot of big big guys you had to beat at a swig on the Supers. There was, you know, Mike Muldoon, Doug Diderio, all them guys. They were tough runners, I'll tell you. And it was really hard to beat them. But eventually I got, in, we, we, I got better, and uh, we competed with them. Did it take longer? <laughs> was the learning curve a little longer going from the Super? from the small block to what it was going from dirt to the small block initially? Uh, Did it take longer to, to be there? What, from the limiteds to the yeah, super? When you actually yeah, the, super, the, the limiteds really helped me, but it was just, the only difference was was the speed. Okay. Just the speed is unreal in a super modified. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the actual racing, you know, you got open wheels, you can't right. exactly just race it like a street stock at Fultman. No, no, no. Charge no. down in and use eight no, tires there's to No, turn. there's no uh, <laughs> rubbing and banging in asphalt. If you do that, you're in trouble. <laughs> How long did it take you to get to the point where you started passing cars? Uh, I ran the same as I did on dirt. I run the bottom at Oswego, and a lot of people knew that. They watched me, and uh, it was not too bad. It's just you got to be smooth. It's, it's a little bit harder to pass on asphalt because it, it takes a little bit for you to make your move on asphalt, you know? Mm -hmm. We're on dirt, you know, you just, you know, kind of bonsai your way in there. And uh, the outside asphalt, you got to take your time a little bit make, to make your move on asphalt. And sometimes it takes more than a lap to make a pass when you get a nose under somebody, uh, right? Yep, that's true. So yep. a lot of patience. Like I said, you got to be smooth and a lot of patience on asphalt. And the right foot, right? Yeah, you got to have a, I say a smart foot, not a hammer okay. foot on asphalt. You got to be smooth. Yeah. You got to be smooth with the throttle on the asphalt. How long did it take you to win in a super at Oswego? Uh, actually, my very first win was uh, the ten thousand dollar Mister Super Modified race. Super modified. Yeah. Good first win to get. That was our very first one we ever got, and uh, actually, after we won that, a lot of a lot of things took off for me in the Supers after that the following year. Gotcha. I want to thank Garofalo's importing, by the way, for helping us get here. I know you stopped there a few times on the way back from the races mm -hmm. over the years. So yep. Make sure to go there. It's almost grilling season, guys, so get up there and, and get your sausage and everything like that. Mm -hmm. Biggest win. Was it that one, or was it something else at Oswego? Uh, Oswego but it got $10,000 to win. Yep. The that was Mr. the one, Su huh? The Mr. Super Modified was my great, greatest moment, and getting the track champion at Oswego Speedway. You know, there's a lot of people that would love to put their name in there, and we did, and uh, I'm very grateful for that, and uh, everybody that helped me get there do, to win the track champion. Only got about a minute left. Was there one night when things went horribly wrong? Do you have one of those, oh, my God, we were lucky to survive that crash stories? Oh, yeah, I was upside down at a swiggle in the super, and uh -huh. that wasn't too fun. And I wouldn't want to do that again. Never on fire? <laughs> No, no. Okay, so you're don't want that mess and I'll get on fire. That's dangerous. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, you can't see it. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, but I'm sure you've been scared for some other drivers at various times over the years, mm -hmm. right? How do you get over that? Because they say that is one of the most dangerous forms of racing around is a Super Edo Suigo. I just kind of don't think about that stuff when you're yeah. <laughs> racing, I guess. But it's tough because every now and then you just get that reminder. You hear red, 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 and oh, no, what happened, right? Yeah, so. Well. Well, you try not to think of that stuff. Yeah, it's the best way to put it. So, Of course, Tim will be back at Fulton this year, hoping to end his career with a win, just like his first win was at Fulton in the dirt. So we'll hope that he does that this year. Make sure to hit the blue eye e guys. That'll subscribe you. Every time we're talking to somebody cool. Tim, I really appreciate you having me up. When you get Thank that you. first win, I'll, I'll, I'll be back up here. We'll make sure we get you back on, okay? Okay, that sounds good. Good to see you, man. Thanks for Thanks trusting for me, and, and great job.